Uh, hey everybody, Scott here at Grip Royal. I wanted to kind of update everybody and do a little walk around of the Way of the South, our off-road S14. And you may remember this car. We did a build in 2022 with Danger Dan. It was really supposed to be like a low budget. It's kind of a, a fun car, it didn't really have a purpose. And originally we got this shell about a decade ago and it had no title, no uh, glass in it. It was already cut up. It's been banged up in a few corners. So it really wasn't a shell that we wanted to utilize for a drift car. We took about one week to paint this thing, underside, inside, engine bay, everything. We used this single stage matte black, sprayed the car, welded in some of the, the grating on the windows, which was to uh, protect my fan at my paint booth. And so this was just like leftover material we had. So we, we did the grating on the windows, painted it, got these steel like dirt track wheels, threw some side-by-side -side knobby tires on them and acquired subframes, made it a roller and that was it. So 10 years ago, this thing kind of looked like how it does, but it was just a rolling shell, had that Mad Max kind of vibe and we just pushed it around in our shop. Every time somebody would come in our shop, this was always their highlight of the shop. People wanted to ask about this car and so we always knew it had great potential for entertainment purposes, really. Um, so again, 2022, Dan came. We had a first gen small block Chevy 350 that my dad had made out of spare parts. My dad's in a like classic hot rodding. And after like two sessions with the car, we absolutely grenaded the engine and we were over revving the mess out of it. So it's pretty funny. Uh, the motor actually popped. When we disassembled the engine, the, the camshaft actually fell out of the oil pan in, in pieces. It was blown to bits. So fast forward now, um, beginning of 2023, I acquired this 5.3 LS truck engine. Again, from my dad, he was doing an LS swap in his 64 Impala and had a second motor that he decided not to use. So I got this 5.3 from him, bunch of Holly bits on it, one to dress it up, two for performance and to clean up, remove a lot of accessories and, and things that we didn't need. And uh, yeah, we're yet to start this up. It's been sitting and getting moved around the shop for about a year. And we're hoping that we get to fire up this 5.3 and bring back the way of the South. So uh, let's, we're gonna do a little walk around, kind of talk about some of the aspects of this car and hopefully you'll be seeing it at some shows and stuff coming up. We previously had uh, Derby headers that came up, which allowed us to run our cooling lines right down the frame rail here. And we're gonna have to change some things up there because now we have a full exhaust system that goes down. And I'm pretty excited about that, honestly. I really like the headers coming up high. Uh, it gave it more of a crazy, unconventional look, but it really made diagnosing things extremely hard. Uh, you couldn't hear anything. It's so loud. You, you come up here to try and like diagnose something on the engine and the exhaust is literally just beating you in the face. So um, now we've got the exhaust going down under the car and we'll have to have uh, some help fabricating some lines because our radiator is in the back. And the reason that we mounted the radiator in the back, one is because we had a big giant radiator that we could use, but really the idea of this car is that it can drive through, we don't know what, you know, whether that's mud or a brush or whatever. So um, we didn't want the coolers on the front of the car because that would, be potential damage. Uh, same thing goes with now we have this really nice oil cooler. Traditionally, you would mount that kind of up front, get more airflow on it, but we have this kind of in the protection of the engine bay uh, to keep it safe. So same, same concept, we just don't want things to get damaged, you know, whether we're driving through grass or maybe hit a bush or something like that. Uh, and as we move further back, you'll see, our next concern is going to be our transmission. Uh, so this 5.3 is going to make significantly more power than the first gen small block 350 that we had. Um, that was a engine from the 60s. Uh, I'm not even gonna spit out numbers cause I don't know, you can look them up if you want to, but this thing's gonna make like another 100 horsepower, which is a pretty big jump. The transmission that we're running is a T5 out of an IROC Z, so old like Z28 Camaro. We're super excited to finally get this thing running again, give it a second life. It's just way too cool to let it sit around and collect dust. 
and um, really excited to go take it places, which the first thing that we want to do is take it back to Little Talladega or the Drift Mansion. They've expanded their off-roading trails, which should accommodate, uh, the width of them should accommodate this car. Uh, previously, we could only use like two different trails out there. Now there's a lot more we can fit it on. So I like to take it there, rip on the trails, make sure everything's good. There's another spot in like North Alabama that I want to go to that I've been eyeballing. So if we can go to there, those two spots and it survives, then we'll keep taking it places, probably take it to some car shows, display it. Um, maybe we could go to some like off-roading type stuff. I'm not super knowledgeable on that industry. So if you know of a place, an event that we could take this to and you know put it in a mud hole or drive some trails or even maybe if you just have some really cool property somewhere where we could rip in it um, comment below and tell us where you'd like to see this car once it's ready and we're touring it in 2025.